Hi, this is Kathy Kruska, and I am going to give you a very detailed overview of what is expected in this course through this presentation. You can follow along uh, on this video, or you can just listen to the audio. And it's going to be very important to prepare yourself for success. One of the things to recognize is that many of you are in the automotive, massage therapy, ophthalmologic, if I said that correctly, program, early childhood development, etc. And you are therefore required to take this course. Others of you are taking it because you're a communication major and still others just want to do better in your course, excuse me, in your relationships. So whatever is your reason, welcome. I think you're going to absolutely love this class. So first thing I want to do is talk a little bit about the elements that you absolutely must know to be successful. Also, I'll give you a little background about me highlight some critical components on the syllabus, talk a little bit about the schedule of assignments. I want to also give you the parameters for how to earn A grades for your discussion forums and your journals, as well as how to do well on your module exams. I will conclude with a little bit of information about the term project because more detailed information about the term project will be forthcoming. So let's get started. First of all, you need to know that the syllabus is our contract. It's my agreement for my commitments with you, but it's also by staying in this class, your commitment to follow the guidelines in the syllabus. So please make sure you read that. I've also submitted a schedule of assignments with all the due dates. Again, no late work is accepted. My phone number for my office is posted here at 910-695-39. 78. However, the best and fastest way to receive a response from me is to use email. And my email is kruska c at sandhills.edu. So that's k r u s k a c at sandhills.edu. All right. So uh, I will have an office hour in this semester I will it'll be on Thursdays from 9 to 10 through collaborate but then also I'm available by appointment so who in the world am I and what qualifies me to teach this class well I am a communication professor in both the English and humanities department as well as in the business department I also have a very active consulting practice and I focus on areas of staff training, leadership development, strategic planning, and organizational communication development. Uh, two of my big clients are um, Scotland Health, as well as the Moore County Chamber of Commerce. Uh, like many of you, I have an Associate of Arts, or as you are striving to get yours, I also have a Bachelor's of a Bachelor of Arts in English and a Master of Arts in Speech Communication. Finally, uh, I was a senior executive in business before I uh, retired and transitioned into education full time. So I have extensive international experience. So I am bringing that to the party as well as uh, I've been married to my high school sweetheart for 45 years. And I'm a mother and a grandmother, so I'm bringing in family relationships, personal relationships, business relationships, educational relationships, et cetera, to help you improve all of those in your life as well. Next, I want you to highlight a couple of things on the syllabus. First, there's four major categories of assignments. You're going to have three module tests which means there's three modules so you'll have one module for excuse me one test for each module however you will have two attempts for each module test and the highest grade will be recorded i recommend that you take it early to know what your strengths are and know how to study in the chapters or uh, well, and then take it at the end of the chapter to see how much you've learned. 
uh, but the highest grade will be automatically recorded. There is a four hour rate, a wait time, so keep that in mind between attempts. Uh, you also have three discussion forums, but they are going to be designed on optional bases. So I want you to be self-directing your own learning to some extent to prioritize what's important for you. You also will have three journals. And again, self-directed learning, so you will be able to opt for the journal topics or focus of your choice. And then there is a term paper. Your term paper will be about three to five pages long in MLA or APA format. Uh, and we will do it a little bit each module. So the first thing is you're going to submit your topic proposals in module one. Then in module two, you will do your research and submit an annotated bibliography for feedback. In module three, you're going to make a recommendation for a video clip for your classmates to see. And then in module three, after, excuse me, module three, you will actually write two peer responses as well as submit your final term project. All right. So we've got some things we've got to do. Again, this will be self-directed in so many ways. So think about how you want to learn and what you want to accomplish. Now, discussion forums. Discussion forums are not just expressions of opinions. You will be required to submit your first response on Sunday evenings before 11 o'clock p.m. Those will be responses to my prompts that I give you. Then you will need to read what your classmates have written and respond to a minimum of two classmates before 11 o'clock p.m. on the following Wednesdays. When you are responding to my prompt and your classrooms, excuse me, your classmates, you must demonstrate understanding of the readings and the videos by correctly using and applying the terms, the theories, and the practices from the readings and the videos. You also need to cite your sources by just quickly putting in page number references or the video name in um, like a little parentheses. So you don't have to cite it in APA or MLA, just with little page number or title of video parentheses. I want you to also be sure to complete all parts of the assignments and you must follow proper grammar rules, including punctuation, capitalization, including the word I, and proper spelling. Of course, there's going to be lots of differing opinions, so make sure that you maintain a civil and respectful writing style when you disagree with your classmates, and I actually encourage disagreement because that's how we learn, is to explore other people's opinions and attitudes and values and beliefs in conjunction with the theories and the terms and the practices recommended through the textbook. And finally, in your discussion forums, be very, very open to hearing and learning about new viewpoints and other people's experiences, as well as sharing your own. So now let's talk about journals. Journals are a little bit different. Um, you will submit a journal for every module and it must be submitted by 11 p.m. on Wednesday nights. Again, you need to demonstrate understanding of the readings and the videos by making personal connections to the terms, theories, and practicing practices. And again, cite your sources with little page numbers. Points are going to be deducted on discussion forums and journals if you do not reference the textbook and the videos. I keep that in mind. This is not an opinion class. This is a learning uh, college level course. Uh, make sure that you complete all parts of the journal assignment. But for this one, you don't have to worry about grammar or spelling. Heck, you can even cuss. I don't care. I've been known to cuss a lot in my regular classes. Uh, I don't swear, but I do cuss. Uh, and we'll talk about that a little bit in the class later for um, when it's appropriate and when it's not. Um, be honestly honest in how you reflect on your past experiences 
but also be open to new thoughts and behaviors based on what you're learning. And for your journals, add pictures, drawings, music, anything you want that's going to express your thoughts, your feelings, uh, or just do uh, write as a stream of consciousness for clarifying what's going on in your life. I do want you to note that I will keep your journal confidential unless I suspect that you may harm yourself or harm someone else. And then I am required to protect you and others to let other people know um, and by you know a, a correct person to know who can offer you some assistance. Now let's talk about exams. Uh, I mentioned earlier that you're going to have one exam per module and you have three modules. Uh, there is no final exam in this class. You have two attempts for each exam and the highest grade will be kept. However, you've got to wait four hours before completing one attempt and before you can begin the next attempt, right? Now, this is not to be playing any games with taking exams. We want you to learn the information. And of course, it must be completed. The final attempt for grade it must be completed before 11 p.m. on the Wednesday of each module. Now, there are uh, true and false, as well as multiple choice questions only, no essays, no short answers, uh, and it's going to be based on the textbook. I'm going to repeat it again, terms, theories, and practices that are explained in the, test book, in the textbook. That's what you've got to learn. Uh, and there are study guides for every chapter. So. If it was me in my learning style, I would print out a copy of the study guide, have it with me as I read the online textbook, and make sure that I understand what's in the study guide based on what I'm reading. And if I don't understand, then I'm going to send an email with a question to Ms. K or ask a question during one of the uh, collaborate sessions. So, the final thing is the term project. I don't want to go into much detail here because we'll talk about it later um, in each of the modules, but just recognize that um, first you're going to submit your proposals. Uh, then in module two, you're going to write, it, you're going to conduct your research and write an annotated bibliography, and I will give you some assistance and direction for that. In module three, you're going to uh, connect or extend your thinking and your terms um, by recommending a video for your classmates to watch. And then you're going to, at the end of the class, in the final week of the course, you're going to submit your term paper, which is going to be a three to five page with works cited in MLA. You're going to select two classmates' term projects that you want to read and you want to watch their video. And after you read their video, excuse me, watch their video and read their term papers, you're going to write a one paragraph response. And that response is again going to connect a term, a theory, or a practice that the classmate did not use, but you think could be relevant or interesting and applied as well. Maybe even want to do some of your own research. All right. The whole purpose of the term project is to meet the other. The other is the phrase that we use in communication studies to talk about a person or a group of people who are different from ourselves. We do it respectfully. We do it authentically. We do it with a sincere desire to try and understand. So be thinking about who is the other in your life that you might like to explore. And let me give you an example. Ironically, I'm 65 years old. I'm not afraid or embarrassed to say it. But I am uncomfortable with older people. I much prefer interacting with young people. So there's something going on inside my heart and my head that I need to constantly work on 
to get past communication practices with people who are much older than myself. So that's something that I am continuing to try and understand. And that's an example of what you may want to look at. So who is the other who you want to feel better and have good conversations with? All right. And I will give you lots of help along the way. So that's our class. I hope you're going to really enjoy it. Yes, there's a lot of work, but it's doable. It's very doable. And it's self-directed. So you're able to focus on those areas that are of greatest importance and value for you in why you're taking this course. I'm just a phone call away. Better yet, I'm just an email away. If you need me, I'm here. Have a great, great semester. Bye-bye.